Homeless people will be shuttled into temporary shelters in Golden Hill. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefty. It is being set up at the city operations yard at 20th and B Streets. 10 News Hannah, reporter Hannah Mullins is live with the concern amid a deadly hepatitis A outbreak. Hannah. And Vanessa, this area is fenced off with barbed wire up here. It's also blocked off by another fence below. They've been setting up tents at the transitional camp area, and they'll start by bringing in women and kids tomorrow morning. This is the land God forgot. Oh, stay there and sleep. Large chunks of East Village festering with filth and Hepe has made the streets more septic. I have slept right here. I've slept right here. Detoxing from heroin, sick, just disgusted with myself. That's been Charles Roberta's life for 17 years. I call it the dread when you wake up in the morning and it's like you're outside. You don't know if someone's going to bust you over your head and try and rob you for what little you have. The county counts more than 9,000 homeless people and about 1,000 are vets. Michael Bear is haunted by sickening smells of Vietnam. It smelled like burning, burning up. Uh, Skin plus, and it was always lingered there. He says this is worse, and everyone has their own demons that landed them here. No one's prepared to lose their mom. You know what I mean? Especially when uh, Roberta lost his mom and dad just a few months apart. He caved to the clutches of addiction. Especially once he's been there for you, no matter what, no matter what, you know. So I'm sorry. Um, After taking two bullets, he tried to turn his life around, but was turned away. Because I am an ex-felon and covered with tattoos, you know, none of them ever get back to me. None of them. The mayor calls this, complete with tents, bathrooms, and showers, an effort to clean up our city. But not all neighbors are on board. It's not great that it's happening here, but where else are you going to put them in La Jolla, Del Mar? Walk-ups aren't allowed. The Alpha Project and SDPD's Homeless Task Force will shuttle people from women's homes and homeless camps. Roberta already has a place to sleep. He's been clean over a year because someone cared enough to help, just like the man behind the Alpha Project. Someday I'd like to do what he does. And remember the forgotten land. I would. I would. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. And there are some rules. No drugs or alcohol are allowed at the camp. They will be giving Hep A shots and vaccinating pets. The project could use some more volunteers. They need some people. This is a temporary solution until three more shelters are ready downtown in Barrio Logan and in the Midway District.